Hey everybody, here's my experience on the popular game show Let's Make a Deal, hosted by Wayne Brady. My friend Vivian and I arrived in Hollywood, California early, early one morning. Nobody was at the studio. We had to wait for hours until anybody else showed up. Well, the other contestants finally got in line. When we got inside the studios, they took us to a room where the producers would interview us one at a time. I did have a great interview. They asked me about being a beauty pageant director and toddlers in tiaras and things like that, but I never dreamed I would be chosen as a contestant. When Wayne Brady pointed at me and told me to come on down, I'd be the next contestant. My face looked like I had just seen a tornado. I was in shock. Well, I had no idea the producers had selected me as a contestant after my interview. They did a whole pageant skit around me. I was really flattered. I think one reason I got so emotional is because I always wanted to be on The Price is Right for so long. I went there about seven times and never was chosen by the producer. So when I went to Let's Make a Deal and they actually chose me out of hundreds of people in the audience from my interview, it just overwhelmed me. Well, the other lady and I had to play a game of rock, paper, scissors against each other and I actually won. They handed me a thousand dollars. I couldn't believe I had won the first part of the game. I'm used to being in front of a lot of people, but I was trembling and scared to death. It's very unlike me. Wayne Brady then asked, did I want to keep the money or did I want to go for a brand new car? Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. Tears started pouring down my face. Thank you, Jesus, that they edited most of that crying out. I was crying like a 10 year old baby girl. I was so excited. Well, it was time to see if I won the car. You know I had to cover my face because I couldn't stand seeing this. I decided I was going to be good no matter if I won or not. Well, it wasn't in the cards for me. I lost the car, but Wayne Brady did give me $200 because he said he liked me. Well, they brought my car back out later in the show and an 18-year-old boy won it. So I figured God had something to do with that. I didn't really need the car. It would have just been fun to win. And that boy probably really needed the car. Well, now that you know what happened to me, I've included the video of the Let's Make a Deal episode that I appeared on. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to Let's Make a Deal. Right now, I need two people. Let's do it. You with the black and white hat on. You with the black and white hat. And... No song. No song. Come here, Christopher. No song. Hey. Denise, hey Denise, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. And you are Christopher. Nice to meet you, Christopher. Hey, good Christopher. No song. You gotta keep that up. No, no song. No song. That that is quite a shirt. That that that's awesome. Now is that me? It's supposed to be. You. No, I like that. That's cool. Look how. And Jonathan, Tiffany. Wow. Turn turn around, Tiffany. Did, wow, Tiffany. You. <laughs> hey. <laughs> His shirt's in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay. I like that. So we're going to play a little game of rock, paper, scissors. You know, the old school rock, paper, scissors thing. So that could lead to a lot of prizes or cash or who knows? <laughs> who knows? So, so what do you do, Denise? What am I? Yes, ma'am. I am a go-go dancer. Oh. Well, uh, I, I meant in real life. But... Maybe you are a go-go dancer in real life. I could be. You could. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> and what do you do, Christopher? I am a beauty pageant director. Get out of here. <laughs> You're a beauty pa So pageant director, OK. You know what? You can help us, because Jonathan, Tiffany, and myself, we always have these hypothetical discussions over which one of us would be better in a pageant. So. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, why can't a brother talk about who can be in a pageant? Why can't that be part of my conversation? Tiffany, Jonathan, can you guys come over here, please? So the three of us will some some pageant music, and then you tell us which one you think would, would, would be best in a pageant. Okay, come, come over here. All right, go ahead. Hi, my name is Wayne. I'm Mr. Florida. I enjoy bike riding, the Sunshine State, 
balloon walks after dark and touching things that I shouldn't. Hi, I miss Utah. If I was to win, I would help feed starving children. Thank you. Hey, my name is Tim. Uh, the other girl couldn't make it, so I'm gonna stand in. Vote for me. That's the prison pageant. <laughs> so what? Thank, thank, thanks, guys. So, so what do you think? It's a tough decision, but I'm gonna go with Utah. Here we go. Let's get you some cash. Rock, paper, scissors. On stage, there are three boxes. Underneath one of them is a rock. The other one has paper. The other one has scissors. You folks know the rules. And rock, paper, scissors. Rock beats scissors. Scissors beats paper. Paper beats rock. You'll each pick a box. Whoever gets the winning combination, you get $1,000. And you stay and you'll make a deal with me. The person who loses, you will get $100 and you will go back to your seat. Here we go. Denise, I picked you first. Pick your box, red, green, blue. Well, I think um, red rocks. Red rocks, ah, red rocks. Let's open it. Red rocks, yes. Oh, red scissors. So you need rock right now. You need rock, so pick, pick your box. Green, green. Green. He needs rock to beat scissors. You did it. You've got $1,000. You have $1,000, you get $100, Denise. Thank you so much. Go, go, go back to your seat, baby. Here we go. So let's reveal the last box, the blue box. That had paper inside. Okay, so now you have $1,000. You have $1,000. You have $1,000 in your hand. You can keep your money or you can give it back to me for a chance to win this. It's a new Kia Forte. This Forte EX features a five-speed manual transmission, a deluxe audio system, plus steering wheel mounted cruise control. This deal's worth $16,690. That can be yours. That can be yours right now. Here's how you can win. In front of each of the rock, paper, scissors, there's a card. Behind one card, it says car. Behind the other two cards, it says $100. If you find the one that says car, then you win. If you find the one that says $100, you get $100. But you would have given up $1,000 to get there. So you have to decide if you're going to play, in which case you give me the money back, or just walk away with your $1,000. Well, this is a, a once-in-a-lifetime chance, so I have to go for it. It's very tough. <laughs> Well, you, you are right. This doesn't happen every day. This does not happen every day. It, it's a dream come true. So, I mean, just being on the show, I said, if I get a zonk, I'll be happy. So, I'll do it. See, good Southern man, man. I like that. From the South. I like that. So, scissors, rock, or paper, where's the car? Rock. Rock. Okay. Ready, Tiffany? You get $100. Sadly, it was under the scissors. Flip the scissors for me, Tiffany. And flip the paper so everyone can see. Thank you so much. Here's $100. And here's another 100 for, for, for judging my, my pageantry, as it were. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Christopher. Later on in the show, the big deal of the day, someone is going to give up everything they want for a shot at the big deal. Those on still guarantees you got to stick around to find out what happens right after this. Well, so far in my life, this has been the most exciting thing that had ever happened to me. I wouldn't have traded this experience for a million dollars. Well, during the rest of our time in Hollywood, we went to Pink's Hot Dog Stand for a great breakfast. Also during our trip, we were fortunate enough to get tickets to the Ellen DeGeneres show. I love me some Ellen. Well, Ellen just showered us with gifts that day. We each received a Blu-ray DVD player, makeup, the social network DV, a Target $100 gift card, and a year subscription to Blockbuster Video. 
I've already used mine up and I got over 80 movies throughout the year. Well, I've only got one more fun goal I want to accomplish in my life, and that's to be called out as a contestant on The Price is Right. I've had that dream ever since I was a small kid. Well, maybe the eighth time will be my lucky visit to The Price is Right. You know, your dreams can't come true if you just sit at home on the couch hoping they do. Sometimes you just gotta go and see if they'll come true. Well, thanks so much for watching my experience on Let's Make a Deal, and keep your fingers crossed that in January of 2013, either myself, Ray Trignanis, Vivian Paquito, or Edith Beeson will be that next contestant that's called to come on down.